Hello. I'm going into the Heaven's Ward patch content now. The Anti Tower. Not gonna lie, this is not my favorite one. Definitely not. The final boss are. I don't like them. So. That's my attitude for this vi video guide. Yeah. I'll still show you stuff though, don't worry. Everything else is the same, just my attitude. <laughs> okay, tank stance on. Here's information about the dungeon. I'm running this with with the NPC friends. Alphanod, Dishtola, Thancred. Alphanod? Alphano? <laughs> Okay, so I grab this first pack, and there's nowhere else I can really go, but I go to the edge anyway. Okay, so let me just take care of these, this first pack here. Do you open up? I don't know what to say anymore, you guys. Y'all know this stuff, right? You pull the ad, you attack the ads, there's not much else to do. That's why I've been trying to do bigger pools in these. Because, you know, at this point people are experienced. So. Try not to heckle too much. But here we go. Okay, so now you jump on this thingy and then you'll fly over to this platform. Um, looks like there's one, but once I aggro him, there's a bunch more. Um, I end up pulling these guys to the end here just to check to see if there's any like extra ones but it looks like this pack for this pack is just this group okay watch out for these AOEs Chilling here, you know. Nothing too special happening. Look at his tail whip around. <laughs> also, note how far your stole is. She's like all the way back there. Anyway, all right, we jump on the thingy and then we go to the next little platform. Same thing. I grab this Forogo. Oh, Robo, yep, and grab the other stuff, and then I run back here. Um, because I was pretty sure that there would be extra, and they do come up, they're, they're actually back there in the middle, so I went too far. So you can just stay in the middle there. I'll see you in a moment. Yeah, see? They popped up over here. So if we if I had just kept these guys over there it would have been better. And your stole is over there anyway. I feel a strong urge to make small talk right now, even though I don't like small talk. But I think I'd be okay with it just because I'm having small talk with myself, which I think is hilarious. My eyes are unfocusing. It's it, it's hard, you know, making guides like this and just watching me take care of ads. It's just like there's nothing really to say, you know, nothing interesting to say at this at this point. That was me making small talk. Okay, first boss. Look at this. Is it a lady? Or is it a boy? I don't know. Okay, well in any case, it's the auto attacks are- it hits me with this rod thing, okay? Okay, we got AoEs back there from this water bomb. So, watch out. Alphanod, watch out! Alphanod! Okay, now we got these bubbles that pop up, okay? Um, also, the main boss- <laughs> The main boss is like singing a song. Okay. Mi, me, ma, mo. Okay. 
it's singing a whole song okay and it, it's, it's doing this thing here and so by standing it this is like considered the tank cleave but it's like a continuous thing odious croak odious croak odious croak so it's not a one shot i gotta like actually get out of there because i'm taking continuous hits okay i also stood in it a little bit too long and so i got a damage down just discordant harmony okay so you see it's still going i i'm actually you know what it might have been just because i was standing near this thing the bubble See, does the bubble pop and then I get hit with yeah. Okay, it's when the bubble hit like explodes and I was in range of it, so I got damaged down. I got hit with the Discord and Harmony thing. But also this tank cleave thing is still going the man, what is going on? The song, see it's still happening. So you gotta like stand outside of that. Okay. That looks like it's done, so I go back. Getting some auto attack. Okay, water bomb again. It will uh, pop up underneath people, so you just gotta dodge that. Okay, we got these bubbles again. Okay, so don't basically just don't stand near them. Okay, now a few things. So these bubbles spawned, and you'll get a damage down if you're too close to it, right? And we got these circle AOEs, like before, we just dodge those. We got ads here now. I keep catching them with their mouths open, jeez. Okay, and then also two people um, get turned into a toad. So I got turned into a toad. Also Thinker got turned into a toad. So there's a, there's a few different things happening at once here. Okay, so for one, get out of the AOE. Okay, and then the people who are alive need to um, take care of the ads. And so me and Thancred, we both have, okay, oh. me and Thancred both have the toad debuff thingy, and it looks like wherever we go, we are dropping these AoEs for the water thing. And so Thancred's running around in a circle, and I'm just going, kind of going backwards. See. See his method of just going in a circle like this? He's going around. I guess I could have done that too, but I was like going back and forth. And then he comes over here and then we line up. Okay, now we'll go back a little bit. While that's happening, I, I'm getting hit with Frog Song. This is considered like a raid wide because the main boss is like singing the song. So the healer needs to be healing people up for that. And then also taking care of these ads. Like, the, whoever the other two are who didn't get turned into toads need to take care of the ads. Okay, I didn't know that. Um, but also, let's see. The, the explosion thingy, did it go off? Okay, we'll just start over. Yeah, okay, so these, these bubbles. Let's see when that goes. Okay, so we got turned to a toads. We dropped the AOE. The ads are here. We need to get the ads. Okay, the explosions go off. No one got hit with that, so that's okay. Alphanaut is healing us. Thancred's going around in a circle. I'm going back and forth. Um, if you do any configuration, it seems it's fine. Uh, and yeah, so there we go. There was a lot happening, but you just break it down a little. Okay, so these bubbles are out here again. So just watch out for that. Toy Hammer is going to be a tank buster. So don't stand in the front with a tank. It's going to bonk me with a Toy Hammer. Look at that. Do you see that? Do you see that? Oh man. One more time. Cut the bubbles out. Toy Hammer is coming out. Kapoing! There's your Toy Hammer. Okay, I got concussion. I also took some damage for that. Uh, and you can Asuna that. Okay, Odious Croak again, the singing thingy. Okay, it's a continuous thing, so just get out of it. Is Thanker getting hit with the thing? Uh, no, he's not. It's fine. So you just don't want to stand in the front here while that's going off. Okay. 
Okay, his bubble thingy is out, so just don't stand near it. Watch out for the AoE. I'm standing near it because at the time I didn't know how it was working, but I got damage down. So since the bubbles were here, you can consider it like this. So you want to stand like here or here. Did you stole the move? I think she was far enough away from it. It looks like she's far enough, so it doesn't look like this. Oh no, Yashtola did get hit with it. Or, let's see. Or we all got hit with... Where is Al? Alpha Nuts like right over here. Yeah, anyway. I don't know why they didn't get damage downs. But, yeah. You don't want to stand too close to it, because the damage down means you don't do as much damage. In any case. Yeah. So that's this fight. It, it just repeats mechanics after that. Okay. Alright, so we're gonna go down this whole thingy, okay? I'm gonna go pick up these and then go down here. There's floating stuff everywhere. Grab my treasure. I go down here. See this? There's a bo broken bridge here. Eventually we're gonna go down there. There's like, did you hear that little bong? Like whatever noise? It's just this stuff zooming around and it put these like bookcases here and we got ads coming out of them it's kind of like in one of the previous dungeons where the, there was that dragon that just showed up and like blasted across the bridge when you're running across it that kind of stuff so that's, that's what that little like it's not really a comet and it's not really like a shooting star but just some sort of thing. Anyway, okay, so we're just dealing with ads here. Look at your stole it, he's all in the corner. Okay, we got more ads coming out. Watch out for all these AoEs, by the way. Oh, BT dubs these fire ones do like magic damage so that's why I use my magic cooldown honestly I'm I'm not super great at playing Dark Knight and so I always forget what those what but nowadays they do have this little more see this little like lightning rod or just rod that means it does magic damage and then the little like blue sword thing means it does physical damage and some of the tanks, like, mitigation stuff, or just mitigation in general, not just from tanks, but like other people. Um, sometimes it says you take less damage from whatever, but then sometimes it specifies if it's magic damage or physical damage. And so, if you want to optimize stuff, you would pay attention to those things. Oh, I see that zooming thingy! Wow, it just brought out more ads. Yeah, there we go, see? It's very whimsical. Alright, yeah, I just park it in the middle here and wait for them all to come over. There's a good chance I'm gonna pop my invuln here. Yep, I do. Yeah, you know, if you're not confident pulling this much, then just don't take it easy. Um, if your healer says they can handle it, but you're not sure, then, I mean, give it a try. And if you're uncomfortable, then just don't. It's all good. Uh, and if you're gonna run this with the NPCs, you know, they're not gonna get mad at you. So, I say give it a try, and if it's too much, you just run back and take the ads in smaller pools. Big AoE there.
Yeah, once it gets down to like two adds or so, then I just use my single target attacks rather than my AoE attacks. Okay, for this next boss, Ziggy, it's a spriggan on a rock. Um, right now someone's using the limit break. Gyrating glare. It's a raid wipe. Okay, so now we got these rocks. It's called Stardust. Okay. We're going to need them for a mechanic. Um, they all have AoEs, so you need to stand in the corner. I went into the middle because I thought, because I just saw it as proximity stuff, and I was like, oh shoot, actually, never mind. I should go to the corner. Dodged it though. Uh, okay, glitter, jittering glare. Okay, we'll just pick a random person and do a cone at them, so dodge that. Now it'll. Jittering jounce. It's like a pounce, kind of. Okay, uh, it will tether to a person, and that person needs to go stand behind a rock. So bring the tether through the rock. Okay, as soon as that goes off, there's gonna be a really big AoE. So make sure that you're not standing on this side or anywhere on that side. I was very close to it, so I just moved over just a little bit. Okay, so now someone else gets the target thingy and you go behind the rock. Once again, big AoE. Just don't stand near it. Jittering glare. Cone AoE on someone. Okay. Tank buster. Jittering jab. Use your mitigation for that. I see, see. That's uh, this, this little icon, that's the physical damage one. Okay, another jounce targeted person goes behind a rock. Big AoE, get out of that. My turn, I go behind a rock. As soon as it is done casting, then I, I run out immediately. So I don't get hit with that. That one was the um, red light. But yeah. Okay. I grab all these ads and I just bring them into the next room. I believe. Kind of park it a little bit and slow down so that everyone can catch up. And then in this room, we've got these other um, ads here. Right. They don't move much, it seems, so I brought everything to them. I'm taking some hits. Um, it's fine. Everything's fine. Big AoEs, though, you gotta get out of that. A great time to for some healing when you're just waiting for the AoEs to go off, as long as you dodged it. Okay, looks like they had a physical damage up. Yeah. Okay, get out of that. was called Berserk when they get their physical damage up thing. I went into my main menu because I noticed my mouse was hanging out over here. That's how I get rid of it while I'm on controller. Okay, so I grab this next set of ads and I go, go into this room again. And like before, there will be more ads that pop up. Technically they drop down. 
Watch out for all the AoEs in the center. Um, if you have all of your effects on, it can be kind of difficult to see the AoEs when they're all stacked together like this. And so in your settings, you can change to have like limited effects. Like all my skills have like animation and stuff. So you can remove that, or you can lower the amount, or you can turn off other people's effects, or lower their amount, and, like, and so you just adjust it to what helps you. See, there was a big AoE there. Because a lot of my moves are circular for my AoE moves, because I'm constantly pressing them, it can be a little difficult to see the AoEs. But, yeah. Like, I've turned it off for other players, so I only see my skills go off. This one does a lot of magic damage, and this one does physical damage. That one was a mage. This one's a like it was a Viking with an axe. Here's your stola. Big Ailey. Watch out for that. I ended up getting hit with this second one because I was not navigating well. I was greedy, I wanted uptime. I wanted to continue hitting one of them, some of them. So I stood in there a little too long. Okay, once again, see, I try to get out of the first one, but I stand in the second one a little. Oh no, I didn't get hit with that, okay. Usually when I s notice that one of the enemy's health is going down a little faster than the other, I know that other people or NPCs are focusing on that one, and so I'll switch to that one sometimes. So then I don't continuously get hit with that, so it dies faster. You know what I'm saying? Um, like it's better to have less enemies out. Oh, This is why this thing I'm pointing at my screen right now, I don't like these. I don't like these dolls. I'm sorry if you like this style of a doll, but like I just I don't super not a fan. And like they had to just make them extra creepy. I'm sorry if you like them. Like <sighs> okay, anyway, so they're gonna dance and spin around. They're in this configuration. The ones with the red dress are inside, the ones with the blue ones are outside. So for this first one, um, the blue ones do a cone AoE. So there's one over here doing a cone, and there's another one over here. The ones in the red dress do a donut AoE, and so this... And this is this girl's. This doll has this donut AoE and this one. You know, like that. And so, I mean, what you need to do is just find a safe spot. So all of this is safe. But I also noticed this little spot is safe. This spot is safe. This spot is safe. So, go to a safe spot. Right dead in the center is a safe spot. Um, and then I'm also continuously airing them down. And now they switch, so the, the red dolls now go outside, if they're still alive. And then the blue ones go into the center now, and these are the cone AoEs, okay? So, just don't stand in that. Like, if you stand dead center, you should be fine. They're crying. Now they're doing stuff. You're gathering, you're turning into this thing, man, man, okay, so this is a look away mechanic, it's sitting on top of me, 
So basically, no one should look at me. Okay, so the doll will do a big cleave. And, and the eyeball is up here. So just don't look at me and also don't stand near me. Basically. Okay, knockout. This is a tank buster. Okay, brace. Um, this is a shield on the sides of her and her back, and it has this thing called directional parry. Okay, so it's like a shield. So if you if you attack her from this side, this side, or this side, then you'll get knocked back. You, like it'll it'll just bounce off and then hit you. So the only way you can attack her is going from this side in the front. So I think I do hit her. See, I hit her and then I I got pushed back a little bit, and then I was hit with a thing called brace. See, brace. As soon as I hit her, I got pushed back and then I. Oh, breach. Uh, and then I got hit with breach. Okay. And everyone else is standing in front of her instead so they can attack her. Okay. And you can, you know, notice she's got. Th this is the icon for the directional parry. Um, so right now, this, this whole area. If you attack from any side, like over here, it's gonna knock you back. The shield's technically still there. Once it goes away though, then you can remove her again. And then, yeah. Dollhouse. Looks like, uh, yeah. So she turns two people into dolls. Your stolen thinker got turned into dolls. They're stunned and they're fettered and they got bleeds on them. Okay, and if you'll notice here, one is wearing the blue dress, one is wearing the red one. The blue one is the cone, and then the red one is the donut. Okay. We have to attack them. Okay. And they're also kind of moving around. At the same time... Okay. Oh. Okay, see? It's a cone. It's a cone. Um, we were able to get Thancred out pretty quickly. Let's see that one more time. So they turn to dolls. Immediately, I try to attack them so that they stop being dolls. But yeah, like I said, the red one wears a um, has a donut AoE, so this would be a clear spot right here, and the blue one has a cone. Um, oh. The, the blue one's attack is called heat gaze. Oh yeah, both of them have their their thing is called heat gaze. Okay, while this is happening, the main boss is like slapping the ground, and that's what this slapstick is. Okay, it's just a continuous raid wide, and so healers need to be aware of this and heal us up. She just continuously throws a tantrum like this. Look at this. She just keeps going. Wow. Wow. Okay, now tank buster. Look at her eyes, so creepy. Look at her mouth doing. Ugh. Okay. Look away mechanic here. Okay. Looks like. Did they get hit with this? Hmm. Wait, let's see. Does. Yeah, I'm curious why... Okay, we're gonna look at the slaps again because I wanna check. Because we definitely have to look away from Yishtola because she was the one who had the little eyeball above her. But the boss targeted that area for a thing. So I'm kinda curious the situation there. Okay, they don't get healed here. And your shoulder gets this thing, and then they all get hit. Okay, so it doesn't look like it does that much because everyone was looking away. Okay, but there's your tank buster again.
Okay, brace. This is the directional parry thing. This time it's she's just facing a different way, but it's still her sides and her back. So you need to be on this side to be able to attack her. Let's see, I attacked her again to show that I get knocked back and I get hit with this. So you have to go to the front to attack. And this thing will drop off. And you can move her again. Doll house, we're gonna turn into dolls again. Alright, it's me and your as dolls. And then the main boss is doing the slapping thing. Okay, donut AoE, cone AoE. There we go. Man. Why? 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 Why the zoom? Why? I don't need the close-up. Why would you do this? This is so excessive. Man, that was the whole thing. Again, if you like dolls like that, I'm sorry for all the uh, bit of attitude I have about it. But anyway, okay, we did it, you guys. That was the first one for the patch content. Good job. Goodbye.